Hi everybody, I am Net Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a heart defect called coartation of aorta. So let's get into it. So first of all, what is it? What's the problem here? The aorta is narrow, okay? So some portion of the aorta is narrower than it should be. And this can happen at any part, but it is more commonly located near the ductus arteriosus. And the problem with this is the blood cannot pump and go to the rest of the body easily. So it decreases systemic blood flow. This will cause a backup into the left ventricle. The left ventricle will be working harder to help pump out that blood to deliver it to the rest of the body. And then if it's working for a long time that way and it's very severe and it starts to get hard and thick, this can lead to heart failure. And this often occurs with other heart defects, the most common of which is the patent ductus arteriosus. So this is a congenital heart defect, so babies are born with it. And depending on how mild or severe the symptoms are, they might need treatment right away or they can live with this up until adulthood. So let's talk a little bit more about it. If the symptoms are very mild, this might not be detected until adulthood, but this is something that we learn about in our OB class and our peds class, so I kind of wanna just focus on the children aspect of that. So when it comes to the severe symptoms, we have infants and older kids. So severe signs and symptoms for infants include things like tachycardia, dyspnea, cyanosis, heart failure, a high-pitched systolic murmur, and pallor. So their skin is going to be pale. In older kids, they might report things like dizziness, frequent nosebleeds, fainting spells. They might have upper extremity hypertension and lower extremity hypotension. And then their radial pulse is going to be super easy to find, easily palpable, normal, or even bounding. Whereas their femoral pulses will either be diminished or absent. So high, high pressure in the upper and low, low pressure in the bottom. So not enough blood flow to the lower extremities. That's what's happening here. So how is this diagnosed? Well, first they're gonna go off of signs and symptoms if the infant is experiencing any signs and symptoms. And next, they're gonna do the congenital heart disease screen. We do this on all babies, whether or not they have risk factors or symptoms or anything at all. What this is, is a simple pulse ox. So we'll put it on baby's hand and baby's foot. We're gonna check the oxygen saturation of their upper body and compare it to their lower body. Now, this is not a diagnostic test. This can let us know if they need further testing. So if they do not pass, if they fail that, likely doctor is gonna order an echocardiogram. And this is what they're gonna to use to diagnose it. And because this frequently occurs with other congenital heart defects, they're probably gonna order a chest X-ray so they can visualize it and they can see what's all going on in there. So how do we treat it? With surgery. So this is something called a balloon angioplasty, and the goal of this is to widen the narrow area or remove the portion of the aorta that is narrow and reconstruct it. They may insert a mesh to help widen it. This is called a stent. They might insert a mesh. And it is important to know that even after a successful surgery, the infant might still have high blood pressure and might need to be on blood pressure medication. The best age to perform this is before two years old. And the mortality rate from this kind of depends on other heart problems. Because like we said before, babies who have this usually also have other congenital heart defects, like the PDA. So the surgery is gonna help and most babies do really well, but we also need to think about, you know, do they have other congenital heart defects that can contribute to heart failure and things like that. So that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.